On March 15, 2005, a 48-man team of the Elite Special Action Force of the Philippine National Police stormed the Special Intensive Care Area building of the Metro Manila District Jail. The mission was to regain control of the facility after a group of armed detainees barricaded themselves inside. The SICA building is a four-story maximum security detention center that houses about 500 detainees. It is located at the heart of the PNP's Camp Bagundiwa in Bikutan, Taguig City. In March 2005, the jail had about 425 suspects, including 129 suspected members and leaders of the Al-Qaeda-linked Abu Sayyaf group. Among those who were detained in the Sika building at the time of the Bikutan siege were ASG leaders Alhamser Manatad Limbong, aka Commander Kosovo, Nadsmi Sabdula, aka Commander Global, and Galib Agdam, aka Commander Robot. The Sika detainees were segregated based on their known affiliation. Suspected ASG members were celled on the first floor, and those who were associated with the MNLF or MILF were assigned to the second and third floors. At about 6 a.m. on March 14, 2005, Limbong and two other detainees started playing sports in the common areas of the first floor of the Sika building. When two jail officers asked them to stop, the three detainees assaulted them with ice picks. They disarmed the two guards, shot one, and stabbed the other. The jail officer at the watchtower noticed the commotion but was shot when he attempted to assist the two guards. The detainees then made a dash for the security control gate. However, were forced to retreat when they were fired upon by the responding security personnel and the first responders. Back in the detention center, Limbong's group decided to barricade themselves despite the protest of other detainees, most of which did not want to get involved. The raid then began after authorities gave the inmates a 15-minute deadline to surrender. An ultimatum that came after hours of fruitless negotiations with the inmates. The inmates had agreed to surrender after their failed jailbreak. But the deal broke down when they demanded that they should be given food first, prompting the civilian negotiators to leave in frustration. Magalong's assault plan involved two SAF teams one assaulting from the ground, and the other team breaching from the roof. Meanwhile, snipers would be deployed at the perimeter to provide covering fire for the assaulting force. Prisoners would then be put in place in a safe and secure area for their safety. The SAF teams then proceeded to their targets, clearing the building from suspected Abu Sayyaf members room by room and cell by cell until the two teams would meet either at the second or the first floor. As members of the Special Action Force stormed the prison, a series of explosions were heard from within the Sika building. Although the mission was successful in thwarting the ASG's jailbreak attempt, the event also triggered public outrage especially from the Muslim communities and with the human rights groups, indicating that the state troopers massacred and tortured the prisoners, for which they wondered how 23 inmates died of the original six jailbreakers.